Gonna do a quick coverage on diagnosing a Fickum real quick. Um, it's got a weird start sometimes under acceleration. It's got a hesitation, like a like a misfire um, under like mid throttle range at idle. It kind of sounds like it has a cam, like it's got a tiny little miss in the exhaust. You can hear an exhaust exhaust note. Engine sounds perfectly fine. So it's got new injectors and everything, so I'm not worried about that. So I'll tell you how I diagnosed it and then what we're doing to fix it. So it's an 0460. I just did a full bulletproof and everything on it. Started driving it. Notice I had that weird vibration in the acceleration under mid range. So I got this. You can do this with any scan tool. I just have an overpriced TV screen here. So we'll go through, pull up Fickum. Battery power delivered. It's got brand new batteries in it, so I'm not worried about that. Battery voltage. You want to make sure your battery voltage isn't dropping. And then on your Fickum power output, you want 47 to 49 volts. You don't want it to drop below that. My thing is, while it's sitting here running, I can give it throttle and under mid range, you can watch this drop down to like 39, 40 volts, which is not good. So you just want to make sure that your battery power supply isn't dropping and that your output power is staying 47 to 49. You can meter it off the Fickum. If you don't have a scan tool, then you can pull this cover off and put a meter on it. I have this, so why not? So let me get it started, get the alt alternator, start outputting. So this is gonna be in the 13s. And then I'll show you under acceleration, my power drop off. All right, I'm gonna to try to talk loud. I don't know how well you can hear me. So I got it running. You can see the alternator's going. We got good power supply to the Fickum. Right now we're sitting at 47.5, 46. Yeah, that's already not good. Just sitting here at idle. I don't know if you can hear it. It's got like a, sw a slight hesitation in the, in the idle. You can kind of hear it there. And then I'm not gonna rev it too much because it ain't fully warmed up, but I'll, I'll start to give it throttle and watch this lower number here. That's all I'm gonna rev it just because it ain't fully warmed up and I'm about to throw this plus performance Fickham on. So as you can see, that was dropping down 45. And now whenever it warms up, the idle will slightly change and it'll kind of smooth out some, but I'll still have that hesitation range. Let me shut this off. So even after it gets up to full operating temp and everything, I'll still have that hesitation range. So it's like whenever you're accelerating, it'll get to about two grand and it's like, whoa, like it loads up and it'll buck a little bit. Like you got a, like an overdrive, like shutter, like a torque converter shutter or something like that. But this has a brand new trans in it. So I knew it wasn't that already. And so all I did was I hooked this up, even sitting here idling, I can do this. You can monitor this while driving down the road, however you want to do it. But I went and looked up, so I didn't have any active faults, but I pulled the stored faults on this and I had stored uh, cylinders one through eight low voltage on the injectors, except for, I think it was four and seven. Those didn't throw codes, but it had a uh, low um, voltage for all the other ones. Um, also, fuel consumption. I've only drove a hundred miles since full. That's not good, not right. Fuel consumption's way up the power's way down so what i did was i called over to ben over at bless performance he reached out to me uh he got me sent out this uh brand new fickum i'm going to send him in my core he sent me out this uh new fickum with a uh, atlas 40 tune on it so it'll have a 40 horse tune on that i'm not going to make a video on changing out the fickum there's tons of videos on there this is solely just diagnosing it um it's got a new injector harness so i know that wasn't the problem um, I just had all those engine harnesses and everything off when I bulletproofed it. So I was already able to look at those. I know that that is not the problem. You need to look at your harnesses, look at your pins and your connectors, make sure everything's fully seated and connected. Make sure you don't have any rubbing, chafing, damage, breakage, anything like that. But since I'm sitting here watching this and I can physically see that my output is dropping below 47 volts, you do not want to go below 47 volts. 47 to 49, maintain. So since I can visually see that, I know that the Fickham's no good. So I'm going to get this blessed one thrown on here and then I will hook the batteries back up. I'll start it and we should be able to hear a difference and then we should be able to watch a difference on the scan tool. So let me get this thrown in here and then I'll pick back up and go from there. All right, so here's the buzz test. 
definitely was not that loud before but we'll cycle the key we got that new blessed pick them in there let's see how it starts up now oh it already sounds 10 times better oh yeah that sounds so much better See where we're sitting at, 49 volts. This will start coming up in a second once it gets running. Like I said, disconnected the batteries and everything. So you can see it's starting to bounce around here. But uh, I disconnected the batteries, replaced the pick'em. We can probably see it down in here. It wasn't bad. Uh, just pull your intake tube off, your two eight mils out of your reservoir and your two uh, expansion lines there. Just lay your reservoir over to the side, zip off your pick'em. You've got uh, two tens, two eights, and then you can just swing it off, unplug it, plug your new one in, push down. Uh, didn't even lose any coolant or anything. And yeah, it's powering. This, this thing's idling so much better than it was before. I still don't like that my battery voltage isn't going up though, so I'm gonna let it run for a minute. And uh, let it warm up and then I'll, I'll rev it up and we'll sit here and watch this output and uh, verify where it's at. All right, it's not fully warmed up, but it's got some heat in it and uh, we'll sit here and watch this. This is still a little lower than I'd like. I might look at getting a, uh, a new alt or high output alt. Um, of course, since I'm gonna be putting a sound system in here, but uh, it has been sitting for like a week or two. So, but we're gonna sit here, we're gonna watch that lower output. It's at 48, 49. I can already tell you right now, throttle response is insanely better. Like so much better. You can hear the turbo kick out an open vein for the whistle or closed vein, I forgot what it was. Throttle response is crazy. So there we go. Uh, plus performance, pick them, 40 horse tune, uh, stock injectors, uh, bulletproof, push rods, stock turbo. Uh, got with Ben over at Bless Performance. He got me all taken care of. Got this thing out here within a couple days. Uh, I'm gonna send him back my old one, but yeah, that's it. There we go, we got it fixed. I'll drive it, see how we're sitting on fuel mileage now and everything else. But as of right now, it already sounds five times better throttle response is 10 times better so that's the atlas 40 horse tune on an almost stock truck